Hey guys, Nikki here. Um, please excuse Aqua, she's just complaining. Um, but yeah guys, uh, I got a new reptile today. And um, yeah, let's do it. One second, let me just get her. Come here girl. Alright, here we go. This is um my new female iguana. Blue exantic iguana. Let me just get her. Alright, alright. Shh, shh, shh. Come now. Come now. Um Yeah, she's a bit stressed right now. New environment. Um as you can tell she's not adult, but she's definitely a sub adult. Females don't actually get that big, but males get really big. Um Right now you can tell her little blob thing is out, so she's a bit stressed. Um, but yeah guys, this is my new female. Um, for those of you who are wondering, um, my for my smaller one, I, na I kept the name for the exotic iguanas to be um, Alaska. So this girl's name is Alaska. Um, for my old one, the little baby hatchling one, um, the reason why, uh, well I sold it, the reason why is because, um, well, s some people were looking for baby ones, and, um, just so happened here, this girl, her previous owner, um, actually moved to a smaller house, so, and here, he has actually quite a few adult iguanas, so, um, he decided to give her up um you know I mean overall other than her being stressed or being just being a typical iguana she's closing her eyes right now because she doesn't really want to see me and she's closing her eyes um just to hope by the time she opens them I won't be there anymore but I'm staying right here um as you can tell it's a nice blue uh females because they keep their juvenile colors so she's pretty much you know you can tell her colors didn't really go you know too far um, as you guys are wondering these are just folding skin it's not her ribs or anything she's actually a pretty fat girl um, she didn't have her meal today just yet so she's not quite fat <laughs> she's closing her eyes hoping that I won't be here or maybe she's just very exhausted Are you taking a peek now? Anyways, guys. Um, so, yeah, this is her. Um, she was a bit nervous. Had a few little tail flicks. No biting. Um, but I just want to say, guys, uh, it's because previously on my video um, with the baby Exantic, um, People were like, oh, yeah, it's beautiful, where'd you get it, I wish I could get one. Um, I want to mention this issue again with keeping iguanas, the fact that um, iguanas, they're not actually, honestly, I can say it, I don't even know why I like iguanas, I don't even know why I keep iguanas. Um, iguanas are probably one of like the worst choice. Uh, lizards out there. I know I'm being very ne negative. Um, they can be very rewarding um, if you treat them right and if they're nice to you. But on the long run, for the large majority of them, the ones that are aggressive, the ones that you don't actually take time to tame down, um, does come out with a very big problem. Females, while they're rabid, um, which, ugh, despite whether or not they, ah, okay, <laughs> despite whether or not, um, they have made a mate, or they're just gravid with infertile eggs, it's stuck in my hair, um, either way, okay, okay, calm down, it's stuck in my hair, she likes to, woo, okay, um, she likes to climb onto my computer <laughs> right away with a ledge. One second. Let me just grab her. Sorry, guys. She's still new. Excuse her. 
um, this. No, not the face. But anyways, um, I just want to say, ha, huh, females get pretty aggressive during mating season. Males get aggressive during mating season. Um, they just all get kind of everywhere. <sighs> just get onto my bed if you want to. Get out of my hair. Anyways, okay. So, um, yeah, females get aggressive. Males get aggressive. And, um, definitely, I mean, Alaska's here is pretty nice for a, uh, first day encounter iguana. But, uh, for previous days that I have been visiting her from the shop, um, you know, there's, it shows, it doesn't show, there you go. As you can tell, that's not bad at all compared to any other iguanas, honestly. Um, she didn't purposely scratch me there. It's just because her nails weren't clipped then and it was really sharp. And as you can see, she tries to get away somehow. Um, and that's where you get your scratches. But there are people with open wounds where you need stitches and everything when it comes to maybe like a male during breeding season. And so iguanas really are not, you know... I really don't recommend them for everyone. Um, I hope for any new owners of iguanas, you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. Alaska, you want to come say goodbye to YouTube mm -hmm. before I let you go and chill out on your own? No? You don't like YouTube? Bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. No? Okay. Alright. Peace girl. Um, but yeah guys. She's just beating herself. No tail whips, thank you. But yeah guys, um, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment, inbox me. But yeah guys. Bye!